South Australia is renowned for premium food and wine produced in our clean environment and exported to the world. We take pride in enforcing measures to protect the quality and safety of our horticultural produce from the threat of invasive pests and diseases. Thanks to our strict biosecurity laws, South Australia is one of a few places in the world to be fruit fly free and is the only mainland Australian state with this status. South Australia's proud fruit fly free status ensures product integrity, helping secure horticulture access to lucrative export markets such as Thailand, the United States, New Zealand, China and Japan. Fruit fly is a devastating pest that can destroy fruit and vegetables as well as wine grapes and almonds. In Australia, Queensland fruit fly or Q fly is endemic in parts of Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and the Northern Territory while Mediterranean fruit fly or medfly is endemic in parts of Western Australia. Tireless and dedicated work goes into making sure South Australia remains fruit fly free. The state government spends $5 million every year on a fruit fly program that includes prevention, detection and eradication. Border control is an essential component of the fruit fly program. Quarantine stations operate at Yamba, Pinaru, Udlawira and Sajuna. Vehicles that enter the state are inspected for any fruit fly host material. Travellers must dispose of all fruit and vegetables they're carrying. Additional random roadblocks are frequent during high interstate travel times to make sure the state remains fruit fly free. Fruit fly traps like these are serviced every week during summertime and fortnightly in winter, with more than 7,000 traps spread across the state. Most traps are kept in the metropolitan area for outbreak prevention, while almost 500 are in the Riverland alone. Infection can only occur if fruit fly larvae is brought into the state. To protect against this, all produce sent to SA from interstate is treated prior to entry and then inspected on arrival. SA's strict entry conditions are written in law and penalties apply if the importers are found to be non-compliant. Educating the community about how to keep fruit fly out of South Australia is also an important part of the program. Signs are displayed at roadside convenience stops and in high traffic areas within Adelaide Airport. Advertisements are placed in newspapers and reminders are broadcast on state radio. A fruit fly telephone hotline allows the public to report any suspect insects on fruit or vegetables. The Riverland is South Australia's key horticultural region, situated 225 kilometres northeast of Adelaide. The region produces and exports top quality oranges, mandarins, lemons, limes, cherries, table grapes and almonds. The Riverland is a fruit fly exclusion zone, which means no uncertified fruit or vegetables can be taken into the region from other parts of South Australia. The state's top three horticultural export markets, Japan, New Zealand and the USA, all buy Riverland produce due to its fruit fly free status. In fact, all of South Australia is recognised as fruit fly free and work is underway for the pristine Adelaide Hills and fertile northern Adelaide Plains to gain global recognition as being pest free for export. Pest free status would mean Adelaide Hills producers could transport fruit direct from farm gate to shop shelves in Asia within three days of picking. Growers can already export to many countries overseas but their fruit must be treated and held in cold storage for two weeks, which reduces quality and freshness. South Australia exports fresh, premium produce to over 100 countries around the world every year. When you buy South Australian produce, you know you'll be getting a product of exceptional quality, grown in a clean, safe, pest-free environment. Thanks to our strict biosecurity laws, consumers around the globe will continue to enjoy the great taste experience of South Australian produce into the future.